Hi everybody, my name is Lacey Noel. I just finished uh, Dr. Gardner's uh, EDUC 2130 Exploring Learning and Teaching class. And first off, I want to tell you guys, if you're expecting a traditional education class like 2110 or 2120, you're going to be in for a big surprise. For those classes have taught you the laws and the issues and things like that, which are important, don't get me wrong, those are very important to be a teacher. This class is really going to teach to your heart rather than to your head. It's going to teach you a lot of the do's of teaching, how to deal with children, how to, you know, um, classroom management, how to just differentiate and deal with different kids. Um, you, it, he really wants to emphasize the teachable moments in your class, which again is going to teach a lot to the heart of your kids. And it's really something you should uh, pay attention to in this class. It's, it's a lot of fun. If you, if you can do it and if you can do it right, it's, it's a lot of fun for your kids and I'm sure they'll really enjoy it. For this class, you got to remember time management is key, which is important when you become a teacher. Because if you're always going to be late and don't want everyone to do your work, your principal is not going to want to keep you in her class. Um, attendance is really big in this class, as it is with any class. You need to show up. You need to be paying attention and participating. You also need to have your homework done on time. A lot of your grades in this class will be done by your peers, and if they notice that you're not doing your work on time, or if Dr. Gardner notices you're not doing your work on time, your grade might suffer for that, uh, so we never want that to happen. And also your modules. Your modules are your little, home, your big projects, I guess you could call them, throughout the class, and they're going to, and they're going to determine a lot of your grade. And they're going to also take a lot of time out of your schedule, but they're designed to do that. So don't kind of just you know blow them off and try to do it last minute. Most of them require that you do a lot of preparation for them. So don't put that off. You're gonna you're gonna really need to do that. The same thing with your observation hours. Don't try to get them all done in one fell swoop, like all towards the end, because you're going to drive yourself crazy and no one wants to do that, especially towards the end of the semester. You want to kind of be able to relax and know that you've done them as many as you want. As far as the modules, you know, like I said, do them quickly. Um, feel free to do several. I mean, I did the teaching retreat, which I think is one of the most valuable ones that I would suggest all of you to do for this class. Um, the living history one was really fun, but there's also opportunities for you to participate in other ones. I went on the bike trip and I didn't sign up for it, but I learned a lot from it. And I think you guys should just participate in as many as you can, because as a teacher, anything you can learn is going to be valuable for you. The class is a lot about doing different discussions. Um, just class discussions. He'll ask you your opinion. He'll design the class to be around different types of discussions to teach you different critical thinking styles. Don't get offended by things people say. I mean, everybody has a different opinion, and sometimes Dr. Gardner just wants to take the opposite side just to get you to talk. He might not really think that way, so don't get too easily offended because then you'll get put off from the class, and then that's no fun for you. And just do it. Your peers are going to notice that you're not participating in discussions. I mean, and they're not really not going to like it if you don't participate in discussions. Your grade can suffer for that. Um, just some final thought thoughts. If you think you're going to come into this class and not make any friends, you're wrong. I came into this class and didn't have any friends. And now I have wonderful friends from my peer group. So everybody's going to make some friends in this class. And it's you will just gain a lot of knowledge and stuff that you didn't already know. And I think you're all going to really enjoy this class as long as you know just keep a positive attitude and keep up with all the things I said earlier. And I hope you really enjoy the class.